Hey everybody, Notorious here. Welcome back to my channel. Grateful as always to have your viewership. Today we're going to be discussing my latest hitch creation, the Chemistry Hitch. This hitch is an ode to the Catalyst Hitch and incorporates the Catalyst's signature move of going around the other leg and then behind the rope and then out except I've done it a little differently now let me show you what the catalyst hitch looks like the catalyst hitch looks like this so it goes behind the rope and you go over the rope around like this and then tie your coil and once you finish your coil you pull this out take the other leg pass it through and voila you've tied the catalyst hitch so this is the catalyst hitch and then this is my new hitch the chemistry hitch so there's a whole chemistry theme to this i've created another hitch that is similar to the catalyst hitch well it's actually not that similar to be honest but it's it was inspired by the catalyst hitch because it looks sort of similar um, it's called the synthesis hitch. So if you look for the synthesis hitch, S Y N T H E S I S, um, which is probably my third most popular hitch of all time, you will find both a long form and short form video for that hitch. Um, so search synthesis hitch, notorious with a K, um, and you should be able to find that video or those videos rather. So now here is my chemistry hitch. Um, for those who are unaware, a synthesis is when you create something in chemistry. A catalyst is something that exacerbates or increases the efficacy of, uh, or it brings about a reaction. And then chemistry, which is the name of this hitch, is just an overall arching name for you know that incorporates those two aspects of chemistry a synthesis and a catalyst so i think that's pretty interesting but of course i'm biased because it's my hitch so we've got the catalyst hitch it looks sort of like the catalyst hitch but it's not so but what i can tell you about it is that it's just as effective as the catalyst hitch okay look at that grabs very readily and it looks pretty cool I think it looks better than the catalyst hitch sort of maybe I don't know you tell me what you think in the comments so how about we uh, learn how to tie this bat Larry in order to tie the chemistry hitch you're going to begin by wrapping up and doing anywhere from three to five wraps depending on your friction management needs. Now it is pretty common to do four wraps because that is kind of the balanced sweet spot. Um, but then we're gonna bring this leg over and quick little lesson. If you look at this, how many wraps do you think there are? It looks like five because if you count them, one, two, three, four, five but it's actually not. The way you count wraps on this side of the coil is you actually count the spaces. So one, two, three, excuse me, four. And then when you flip it over, look, it's four. It's like magic. Um, so it's pretty common for people to mistake this side of the coil for having more wraps than it does but you'll learn over time. The way you can tell is the side that has the legs exiting out 
is the one that looks like it has probably one more than it actually does. So on the back side, that doesn't have the legs coming out um, on the top, on top of the rope. So the legs coming out on top of the rope. Um, it's below the rope here. So now you can see the actual amount of wraps in the coil. Um, so you'll see when I tie this that it's going to end up having four wraps. Um, so next I'm going to take this left leg, cross it over the rope, and then over the other leg, and then behind the rope, and then out through over on top of itself. So when I tighten it up, it's going to look like this. All right. So now let's dress and set. And there you have it. You've got the chemistry hitch. And this one's a little tight, but you can see it grabs very readily. And it looks amazing. It's got a cool name. So give this hitch a try. I guarantee you've got my uh, notorious seal of approval here that you're going to enjoy this one. Um, so yeah, check out my channel for more hitch how-tos not tutorials and climbing videos. And don't forget to subscribe. And please, I haven't been saying this at all, but hit that uh, notification bell and select all under the subscription options. So that way you get to see all of my videos all the time. All right, thanks so much for watching. Bye.